One way to limit your personal, legal, and financial liability is to purchase an investment property in a company. But is that the right structure for you? Hi everyone, I'm Amir Aishak from Property Tax Specialist, and I'm here to help you navigate the complexities of Australia's property tax regulations. Most property buyers, even seasoned investors, default to simply buying property in their own name. But this is not always the best and most financially savvy choice for you. There are quite a few different property investment structures that you can purchase an investment property under. But the best option for you depends entirely on your individual circumstances and goals. There are plenty of factors that come into the ownership structure, including simplicity, asset protection, tax benefits, estate planning, and future wealth. When you look at it this way, it's easy to see how this decision can quickly become complicated. So, to help make things a little bit easier, I thought I'd give you an unbiased look at both the advantages and disadvantages of each structure, starting with companies. But before I do that, you should know that this information is intended to be a guide only, providing an overview of the general information available to property buyers and investors. This guide is not intended to be an exhaustive source of information and should not be seen to constitute legal, tax, or investment advice. You should, where necessary, seek your own advice for any legal, tax, or investment issues raised in your affairs. The most common reason why people use a company to hold their investments is that it's a separate legal entity in law. Generally speaking, this means that if the individual gets sued, the property will not be at risk because it is legally owned by the company, not the individual. So, it could be a smarter asset protection strategy for a high-risk individual looking to invest in property. Companies are also tax-efficient structures if you personally fall into a higher marginal tax rate. This is because the rental income generated from the property will be taxed at the corporate tax rate of 30% for passive income, which is often substantially lower than the individual tax rate. So, these are the two biggest motivations for using a company as an investment structure. Unfortunately, there are a few drawbacks that you need to weigh up against those benefits. For example, while a company may be a tax-effective structure for income tax, capital gains tax is a different ballgame. Unless the property is an active asset used for business purposes, a company won't be eligible to claim a 50% discount on the capital gains tax if the property is sold, even if the company has held the property for longer than 12 months. And without the 50% discount offered, the earnings on capital gains can be heavily impacted. For example, with a property which makes a $200,000 profit when sold, you need to pay capital gains tax on the full amount. At a 30% tax rate, this will reduce your profit by $60,000. Also, there are strict rules for taking the money out of a company that you must comply with. Another thing to consider is that while the property may be protected from your personal liability, that doesn't mean it's protected from the company's liability. So, if your company is sued, you still risk losing the property. And if you own all the shares of the company that owns the investment property, the company shares would be at risk if you get sued. So, while a company offers some asset protection, it may not be the best structure for investment purposes if you're running a high-risk business. Another important factor to be aware of is the reality that it is much more difficult to get a loan in a company name than it is in an individual name. So, the trade-offs between those few factors and potential benefits should be considered when looking into a company ownership structure. And a final word of advice, the specifics of purchasing an investment property in the name of a company can be more complex, so it's worth getting professional advice first. Here at Property Tax Specialist, we can help you navigate through those pros and cons in relation to your circumstances and advise on the best way to structure your portfolio to maximize its value. That's it for me. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more pros and cons of ownership structures. See you next time.